Hi guys, Andrew here from garagefarm.net. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can batch rename your, your frames. Uh, sometimes it happens that you download your frames from a render farm and the naming doesn't match your post-production pipeline, or you um, you need to send your files to somebody and there are some requirements when it comes to naming. So in this case, you need to rename your frames, but of course you're not going to do this frame after frame and you need a batch renaming tool. But in case of uh, frames, there are several requirements that are important uh, in comparison to just any kind of files renaming. So the first requirement is that this program has to be able to uh, work on many render elements. So every render element is a separate sequence and it would be good if that program would be able to rename all the files, all the main names of the files, at the same time keeping the render elements names intact. And also it wouldn't be good if you would have to rename every render element separately. This is again counterproductive. The second thing is that it should be able to renumber the frames also for every render element or AOV separately in one batch. The third one is that very often we render our our render elements to uh, subfolders, especially Maya users or Modo users from my experience at guardfrom.net. So the program has to be able to just find all the files in the subfolders and rename them with, with one batch. The fourth one is that I wanted this program to be free. For Windows, this program is Rename Master and you can download it from this website. We are now in the Rename Master user interface. On the left, we have the list of actions which we can perform on the files. There is one instance of every action on the list right now, but you can add more of them right here and you can reorganize them with drag and drop. The actions are organized into a stack and it is executed in the order from top to bottom. In our case, it's not important, but it's good to be aware of that. So I will now rename some frames with these tools. I will start from the files which are just in the root folder without any subfolders. As you can see, nothing is displayed right now because I need to click on the option files and folders. I will start with getting rid of this part. It's very long, not very useful. I think it would be the fastest if I just went to Windows File Explorer and copied that part I want to remove. I'm going back to Rename Master and I'm going to use the option Find and Replace. I'm going to paste the sequence here and I could type it as well. The preview shows the look of the frames after renaming in real time. The second thing I want to do is to renumber the frames and I want to rename them per render element. I will use the replace numbers option. Replace numbers on the right, that's correct. And I will use the sequence number option. So it starts renumbering every time for every render element sequence. After naming my sequence starts at 001, but I would like it to start at 200. Let's say that it is a part of a bigger sequence. So I'm going to counting. I put 200 here and you can see it's correct. The only thing I would like to change is the padding. I have one zero too many. This is a sequence of 200. There are no thousands here, so that zero is not needed here. I will use again find and replace option. And I need to replace zero, but of course there are also other zeros here, which I need. So I need to somehow figure out how to delete this exact zero. This zero is uh, always after the dot in contrary to the other numbers. So it will be very easy. 
I just find and replace the point zero and replace it with a point. And my file naming is correct right now. This is everything I wanted to do. Now I can click rename and check what happens. I will double check my files. That's great, they are renamed and renumbered the way I wanted. Now let's play around with more tools and different scenarios. Sometimes you render your render element to subfolders and not all the files renaming programs support working on subfolders. Rename master has this possibility and I will check how it works. I would like to rename all the files inside those folders with one batch. I don't want to go inside every folder and run a batch rename separately. I'm going to show files and folders. I will turn off the actions I used so far. We will do maybe something else this time. So to get to the files in subfolders to show them, I need to use the option subfolder scan recursive. I click on it and it worked. We have all the files displayed and ready to rename. This time we can change the extension of the files. It's not going to change your file format, but some formats like DIF or JPEG have several variants of naming. I will use uh, find and replace again. This time I will do this in the extension. I will delete this part. And TIF is going to be renamed to TIFF. On the preview it looks correct, so I will run the renamed command again. I will check if the extensions are correct in subfolders. Just to be sure. And yes, nice, they are renamed. Just to be sure, we will do one more thing. It happens quite often in Modo or Maya that users render their render layers to subfolders. And for every subfolder based on layer, there is another group of subfolders with render elements. For example, here the background and the character layers were rendered to separate folders and the render elements were rendered to separate folders as well for every layer. So let's check if the option subfolder scan recursive is going to work here as well. And it works. So no matter how deep is the folder structure, you can always go to the frames themselves, to all the render elements, and you can rename them keeping render elements names, renumber them, and it will happen separately for every render element. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope this tutorial is going to be useful for you. Bye and happy rendering.